Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be testing out a brand new brand to me. The brand is called Gen C, G-E-N-S-E-E. -E, and I've got a handful of products here. Uh, from what I was noticing on the website is they only have color products and a mascara. So we're, we've got some eyeshadow, some blush, a lip, brow gel and mascara um, so they don't have I don't have like a full face of products but I'm gonna go ahead and apply all of these today prior to this video I had never tried anything so we're gonna be trying all of these products together this is gonna be a complete first impressions and I will of course keep kind of playing around with them and update y'all as I see fit I saw the packaging it reminds me so much of like Glossier play um, where it's it's very it's a little bit more young it's a little bit more playful um, but that's definitely kind of the vibe that I get so anyway I'm gonna stop talking we're gonna get into the video I'm gonna share with you all of my thoughts on these products and I hope y'all enjoy this video so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so I already have a little bit of a base on I just went ahead and did a little foundation I used my favorite oxygenetics oxygenating foundation it's just my go-to and I'm just feeling like my skin has just been a little extra sensitive lately. So I've been reaching for this foundation a lot more. And then for concealer, I took my favorite MAC Pro Longwear concealer just under the eyes and on any little spots on my face that I felt like I needed a little bit more coverage. And then I did go ahead and set my face down with a little bit of powder. I mainly just set through the T-zone and I used my favorite Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. And then just for a bit of bronzer, I took my favorite MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. And I just applied that to the very backs of my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead. I didn't go overboard because we do have a blush to play with, but I just wanted a little bit of bronzer today. So that's what we have going on on the face. So let's go ahead and dig in to the products. Um, and it came in this really cool like paper bag, which I thought was really cool. It's, it's a paper bag, but it has a zipper. It's really cool. And um, this is what all of the packaging looks like. I have not tried one thing. So we're trying all of these out together. Um, but yeah, they just come in these cute little colorful boxes. Let's do brows first. Um, yeah, let's do some brows. So I don't have anything in my brows. They did send me the brow powder gel in the shade medium brown. And then if I, um, I wanted to apply this first, see how it looked. And then if I feel like I need to fill them in even more, I can do that. But I wanted to see what the powder looked like all on its own. So this is what the brow gel looks like. Tiny little guy. And then that's what the wand looks like. So very much like elf wow brow vibes. Zoom y'all in, I always forget to do this. All right, so I'm gonna start kind of towards the tail because I want the majority of the product back here. I probably should have read the box to see what this is. It looks like it has fibers in it though. Does this have fibers? Clean eyebrow gel for fuller, natural looking groomed brows. Apply the arch and work towards the outer edge. It's definitely depositing color. I mean, you can tell a huge difference. Actually, a lot of color comes off on this. So I would definitely recommend kind of giving it a good little wipe down. I'm gonna take a clean spoolie and just kind of disperse the product. And I don't know if you can see this, it's kind of messy. It's one of those brow gels that you just have to be very, very careful with. I'm gonna take a little towel here. Actually, let me brush my hairs down first. Like I'm brushing my hair down, hairs down. Can you see all that product just sitting on the skin? This is a very intense <laughs> brow gel. So I'm gonna take a little towel and kind of rub some of that off. That's a little, a little too much product for my liking. So right off the bat, I don't love it. It's not that I, uh, yeah, I just, it's just so much product comes off and then once the product hits your skin, it like clumps together. And then I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's little tiny like little balls, little bits. 
just all throughout the brow. The biggest thing that I just don't like about it is the clumping. And you have to be super, super light-handed when you apply this. I will say it definitely fills in the brows though. Like you don't need to go in with... Okay, I'm gonna leave the brows. I'm not gonna obsess over them. Kind of not look at them for a little bit and then we'll come back and reassess. But pros, fills in the brows, 100%. Like this really deposits product, really fills them in, makes them look very full. Um, bad thing is I feel like the product kind of clumps together and then it creates these little balls throughout the hair. So we'll see. I'm gonna let it sit. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to, let's do the blush because I'm feeling like we need some color on the cheeks. So this is their Clean Sheen Cheek and Lip Color. So you can use it on the lips as well. And it says it's a clean, buildable flush of color. A little goes a long way. Apply sparingly to the apples of your cheeks, cheekbones, or lips. Blend in using fingers or a brush. Um, so I do have a lip color that I want to try. So I think I'm just going to try this on the cheeks. Um, but it comes in this little tube. I got the shade Plum. All right, so that's the shade Plum. That looks, that looks very intimidating. But hopefully it'll sheer out a little bit. So I'm just kind of working it into my finger first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, I'm gonna take my clean finger and kind of blend that out. That blends beautifully and it is a completely matte finish. Like almost looks like a powder. I'm gonna go on this side. So I'm applying it with this finger and then blending it out with my clean finger. That was not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. That looks stunning. And honestly, this is not a color that I would reach for, but I kind of like it. It's very fresh on my skin. It shears out to a nice kind of berry pink. I will say this side's looking a little bit patchy. I think just because it's such a quick drying, like powdery formula. I love this side. This side looks absolutely perfect. This side I had a little bit of, I don't know if it's like patchiness. Just didn't go on as evenly, but it looks stunning. It looks gorgeous. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. Let's do some eyeshadow. Yeah, let's do some eyeshadow. So I have their Mixed Media Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Desert Highway. I love me a good liquid or cream eyeshadow. That's what the packaging looks like. And then oh, it's got a little doe foot applicator. So how does it say to apply this? Super pigmented weightless liquid eyeshadow. Apply to the eyelid with the applicator to create high impact color or a well-defined line. While moist, shear it out with a brush or your fingertips for an even wash of color. Kind of just feels like a Excuse me, like a mousse. All right, and then while it's still wet, I'm gonna take a little blending brush and just blend that out. Yeah, and just kind of shears out to a nice little wash of metallic bronze. I'm gonna take it on this eye. If feels moussey, but it also at the same time kind of feels a little bit oily. Yeah, it's definitely clinging to the little dry patches I have on my eye. I think I'm just gonna leave it on the my eyelid. I don't think I'm gonna bring it down. Cause I'm just liking this wash just kind of all over the lid. Honestly, I love this color with my blazer. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry, set down. I'm also gonna curl my lashes cause I do have their mascara. And I'm gonna see how this eyeshadow kind of wears over the next few minutes. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then I'll be right back. So, mascara. This is the Spectator Sport Mascara. It says clean, high performance mascara that curls, thickens, and lengthens lashes to frame the eyes beautifully. Apply through to the lashes and sweep up, coating the lashes evenly, and it is water resistant. So, this is what the packaging looks like. And let's see what this wand looks like. 
Ooh, so it's a nice big fluffy uh, bristle wand. So I am very picky when it comes to mascara. My lashes are very finicky. They don't like to hold a curl. So whenever I try mascaras, like we're really putting them to the test because my lashes are not easy to please. Yeah, this is a pretty big mascara wand. It's a lot bigger than the ones I've been using recently, so it kind of feels strange. All right, so not really getting any volume. Um, I'm gonna just leave that eye like this and then move on to the next eye and then we'll see if we can build this up. All right, so that's one even coat to both sides. Yeah, not a lot of volume. Um, it's holding a curl actually pretty well. These lashes have not fall really fallen yet. So that's good. It's like a nice light, very, 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 very light fluffy volume. More so, I wouldn't even say lengthening. It's separating and just like a very, very light fluffy volume. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can build this up. I've built up slightly. I'm really not getting a lot of volume though. But really pretty just like separation and just a very fluffy lash. I will say that. Like it's not bad. I definitely prefer my Tower 28 and my MAC mas uh, my MAC mascaras uh, compared to this one. But this one's actually doing a lot better than I thought it was. Alright, so that's two solid coats. Yeah, not a lot of volume. Separ I would say there's separation and just makes your lashes look really fluffy. So um, obviously I can't speak to smudging or anything like that, but so far, not so bad. Okay, so I have two lip products. I have their Pick Me Up Matte Lipstick and their Clean Sheen Lip Gloss. So let's start with the lipstick and see what this color looks like. If I'm not feeling it with this look, then we might go to the uh, Lip and Cheek product and try that um but this is what the packaging looks like i love this color like this red orange and all of their packaging is matte it's like that really nice matte packaging but it's very light it kind of feels a little cheap um but this is a very sustainable brand and i'm sure that they designed and created their packaging so that it's easily recyclable and it is more sustainable but it does feel very light and almost kind of like almost like kid makeup be kind of but i love the color i love the overall just aesthetic of it it just does feel very very light and kind of cheap so this is the shade margaret swatch it on my hand first actually it looks like a really nice nude Ooh. That looks really nice. Ooh, lots of payoff. It is definitely matte, for sure. Almost feels powdery on the lips, but very, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable at this point in time. So I am going to line my lips though, because I feel like I just need to I'll just kind of clean up the edges. So I'm going to take Mac Spice. Well, actually, Mac Spice matches this lipstick perfectly. Yeah, that's super nice. Okay, so let me go back to the brows. I think I'm going to add a little bit more brow gel to this side. Sorry, there's so much construction going on outside. And I have the windows open because it is stunning 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 right now i'm just gonna try and wipe off a lot of this product i'm just gonna fill in some of these gaps yeah i'm liking the brow gel much more right now still not my favorite i still love the arches and halos one but i think everyone has different brow needs and brow preferences this I feel like this formula is just not one that I gravitate towards because I don't like a super, super filled in brow. All right, so like I mentioned, I do have a gloss from them. This is, what is this called? It's their, nope, that's not it. Where's the little box I had? Oh, Clean Sheen Lip Gloss. It's just a clear gloss. 
Um, this is what the packaging looks like. And then it's just got the little doe foot. Um, so that's what it looks like, but I just love my matte lip right now, so I'm not gonna apply this to my lips, but just know they do have gloss. But I just really like, I just really like this matte lip, and I think it looks really good with my blazer. So that is it for Gen C. I'm gonna say I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't have like the highest of expectations for these products, which, which is one of the main reasons why I just have not tried this brand yet. I just feel like a lot of their products are just kind of very similar to other brands. I will of course have to just keep wearing these and wear them for longer periods of time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried this brand, what your favorite products are, what your experience has been with these products. If you have tried them, I would love to hear what y'all think and just kind of see what what how y'all are feeling about this brand. Um, but thank y'all so much for being here with me today. As always, remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are See